super rainy, but we got it. So I saw this uh, scrolling through Facebook this morning and I messaged the guy and said, hey, can I come take a look at it? He said, I got someone else on the way. So I was like, bummer. All right, well, oh well, you win some, you lose some. He texted me about an hour later. He said, hey, he didn't end up showing up. So first come, first serve. I said, okay, I'll be there in 45 minutes. So we jumped in the car, Marcy and Maverick and I, and we headed over to the guy's house and on the way it started downpouring. So we had to get this loaded and picked up while getting soaked in the rain. So the neighbors just dropped by and were able to help, help me unload this from the truck. Uh, so we just slid it off the truck bed right onto the trailer, worked out great. Um, I'm gonna kind of give you guys a walk through here. I know absolutely nothing about jet skis. This is my first time ever working on one. Uh, so we're gonna learn together. But from what little research I have been doing, seems like pretty simple machine. Um, carbureted, this is the 787. And we're going to get it torn down, cleaned up, and hook a battery to it and just see where we're at. I did buy a key fob just barely, um, and that's going to take a couple days to get here. This plastic here is faded. I think we can work with that. Have a couple tricks for getting faded plastic to look new again. And uh, we'll buy some new runners, get those cleaned up, get those replaced. But really the biggest thing is, is I want to see if we can get it running. If we can get it running, we'll be able to dump a lot more into it and... Uh, it's going to be an adventure. It's going to be a blast. I'm super excited. Okay, so it's all cleaned up, kind of going through it, making sure, just checking on things. I put a battery in it to see if I could get it to start or anything like that. But it turns out, learning this, you have to have a key that's programmed for this machine. So I thought I could just bypass it somehow, but it doesn't look like I can. So I'm going to have to get a key on order and then take it into the shop and have them program it. And then we'll see what we can do with it. So here's what we're dealing with. Both of the tires are completely shot. And we don't have any of the right tools, so it's taking forever to get it undone. But we're going to try and get this undone, get the trailer back, probably just throw the jet ski away, take the parts off of it, part it out. And then we're going to refinish the trailer and have a trailer for the jet ski. So I'm going to spend the next hour trying to get this out of here and we'll get it back home. All right, so I made it home. It took forever to get it here. And uh, as you can see, it got a little warm. Um, and we actually have a flat tire on the other side that popped. So that's a bummer. Brand new tires that are popped. But this is the piece of junk that we got. I haven't even really looked at it. Oh. Ants and bees and mold and just all sorts of crap. So what we'll probably end up doing is I'll take these runners off to put on that sea -Doo. Yeah, because this got both of them. We're missing one side on that. So we'll probably harvest that off of there. Um, it's pretty much completely trashed. I mean, we're missing all sorts of parts. Take a look at this. I don't even know what this is. This is some sort of, oh, it's foam from the seat. So basically we paid $200, $200 for the jet ski and the trailer and that's basically just for the trailer because the jet ski is almost 100% trash. So, like I said, we'll take a couple things off of here maybe and toss them on the GSX. Um, but in reality, there isn't that much to move. Let's get this wash taken off and I'll get that other one put on and we'll take it to the shop. All right, we got it all washed up. I'm going to go get some bleach and spray it in there, see if that does anything. But... I think I decided we're just going to post this, get rid of it, um, so that I have just the trailer and one jet ski to worry about, and then we'll go from there. I actually ended up selling that other jet ski this morning. Um, a guy came and picked it up, paid me full price for it, and so we got that trailer for free, which is awesome. So I've got to take this jet ski here and uh, try and move it onto the other trailer by myself, which is going to be kind of interesting. Like it was supposed to happen that easy all right i'm gonna throw a strap on there and then we'll get that hooked up to the truck and take it to the shop so about two minutes ago we're driving down the road we're headed into um a small town to get the jet ski reprogrammed and 
Crandall goes, I think the jet ski has a flat tire. And I was like, oof. And then all of a sudden it starts smoking. And so we pull over the side of the road and we're now in somebody's driveway and he's gonna let us park the jet ski at his house until we can go get a tire and bring it back. So, it's kind of crazy. I feel like stuff like this always happens to us though. So we've been driving all around our little tiny town that has got like three tire shops, but they're mostly only, all they have is car tires. So um, anyways, we drove to one, they didn't have it. I drove to the other one, they didn't have it. I drove to the auto parts store, they didn't have it. And then the person from the tire shop followed us over there and said, hey, we actually found one. So cross my fingers, it's actually the right one and we're gonna be back in business, but holy crap, <laughs> it's been crazy. Okay, so we made it down, drove like an hour or something down here to go get it fixed. And we have an electrical issue. I think the grounds are all corroded and so we can't get the key to even turn the machine on. So basically we gotta go back home. I gotta take apart all of the grounds, kind of all the electrical connections, clean them up, get the corrosion off of them. And then I think we'll be good to go and drive back down here. But it has been an adventure of a day to say the least with the flat tire. And then we ended up just cutting off the fenders like we showed you. So it's just turned into a day trip for the family. And hopefully I'll get this figured out really quick and easy. And I'll be able to shoot back down here and have them program the key. And then we'll have a working jet ski. He did say that the machine looks really, really clean. And it looks like it should run without any issues. He said these old machines are like bulletproof. So that's uh, super encouraging. So we're going to get this taken care of. And we'll keep you guys updated. So after looking into a little bit further, basically what we've found is that the starter solenoid is shot. So I think something corroded or broke inside of there and so it's kept it from working. So we ordered a new one, we got the new one here and we got it put in, it goes in this box here. Um, and we also got a battery. So that's sweet. We just got back from taking it to the guy that programs the keys. We hooked it up and we got it to program. So the starter solenoid solved all of our problems. Now we gotta see if we can get this thing running. And it looks like it wants to start. So we got some new spark plugs. I'm gonna chuck those in and then we'll crank it up and see if it'll start. The moment of truth, the moment we have been waiting months for. Disconnect, reconnect. We got lights on the dashboard. gotta be kidding me i mean i have no idea how long this thing has been sitting for uh when we took it into the shop they can check the computer and this has only got like 90 hours on it and it's only ever had one key program to it so i think this basically came from a single owner type situation and uh i could not be happier that was the easiest fix spark plugs battery new key and the starter solenoid and we're like ready to rock and roll we ripped out the old padding for the running strips, you can see. And there are a bunch of rivets, so I just went through and drilled out all of those rivets so that we don't get our feet caught on them and cut the heck up. We're actually gonna go head down to the lake that's right by our house. We got a good buddy of ours, if you don't remember, uh, Michael. Uh, we did a fishing video together, it was super fun. But they're gonna bring their boat, we're gonna bring the jet ski, and we're gonna go test it out for the first time on the lake and see how it runs.
uh, jet skis or something? filling up with water. <laughs> it completely filled up with water. So I pulled it up a little bit closer on shore here and literally you can see the water just pouring out all these holes. I don't know why I thought that those wouldn't leak water, but they do. We sunk our brand new jet ski. We had to break it in right. Break being the key word there. I think I'm gonna undo the plug and then I'll be able to just drag it up on the shore. Wow, you know it's bad when you undo the plug and it's underwater and it lets out water still <laughs> instead of filling it up. Well, good thing we have good friends. Yep, good friends. <laughs> oh man. After 45 minutes, Crandall. Hand we made emptied, it back into the truck. In the, hand the truck. emptied the jet ski. Maverick's feeding the dog cookies. <laughs> Hope your dog isn't on a diet. No. Maverick, are you having fun? You good back here? We got back on the boat. We're going to go do a little bit of surfing maybe. Finish off the night on a high note. And then we'll go see the damage on the jet ski tomorrow. <laughs> yeah.